Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. So um, we talked today about Zero Patch that is going to give five years of support to Windows 10 uh, for roughly 24.95 uh, euros per year, which is about 28, 29 dollars US per year, uh, maybe 33, 34 Canadian dollars per year. Um, this is, of course, a different way of patching windows. Zero patch does micro patching, which means that instead of changing core um, files in windows, it operates by um, just changing things around and adding security levels to bypass or to make sure that any of the uh, security aspect is, of course, um, going to be okay. Now, Zero Patch has been there for a long time. Some pe people are asking me, is this trustable? Yes, it is, because it's been used for a long, long time. Zero Patch has been patching Windows, uh, even Windows 7. And uh, it's a known company for a long time. And it doesn't patch just Windows. It patches a host of other software that is old, including Microsoft Office. Uh, somebody asked me, couldn't Microsoft just say, well, you know, we don't want that to go. And Microsoft never interfered with Zero Patch. And Zero Patch has always been there to extend support for a lot of software out there. Now, um, a lot of questions uh, were actually asked about this. Uh, one, of course, is will I pay for this? Unless Microsoft's own um, extension is at least at this price level uh, or, or cheaper, um, this will probably be what I believe I'll be using to patch my Windows 10. Now, here's the thing. Um, it can patch for five years, means you're gonna stay safe for five years. Um, a lot of people have come back and said, well, you know, doesn't matter, the, the browsers won't be updated for that long. Well, browsers will be updated for at least three years because the extension is for three years, and usually Chrome and um, you know even um, Firefox will have the updates for security on these browsers for at least three more years, and maybe a little more. It depends on how much um, market share Windows will still have uh, that will keep them going or not. Uh, the other thing is that Edge is probably going to be updated also um, by Microsoft for um, a certain amount of time. Now, I don't plan personally on necessarily keeping the machine five years. I'll pay for it for as long as I feel that it's worth paying for it. Uh, some people are asking me, do you have to pay for the full all five years? No, it's a yearly thing. Every year you are free to decide, am I going to patch Windows 10 another year? Um, of course, prices can change. They do say 25 a year, which technically kind of says it's, that it's a fixed price for the five years, but who knows if it could go up or not. Um, but it's something that you do once a year, and if you change your PC, PC breaks down and you get a new one with a newer Windows, then you don't have to renew the next year. It'll be year after year, you'll see if you can patch. And you know, it's it's up to all of that to check out, well, is, is it you know worth it continuing or not for this? A lot of people are talking about LTSC, IoT, um, long-term support uh, windows, which is the different thing, and for most people is not something that no one will go. Um, you know, license keys will not be available for everybody. They're supposed to be available for enterprise. So that means that a regular user at home cannot technically get a license key for that. Uh, and Windows 10 license keys are closed down now. So uh, it's very specialized. It doesn't do everything. There are things that are missing within that version that some people might need. And so the reason you don't talk about it is nobody goes there except you know geeks that really know what they're doing and they want that and they they'll go there um so that's that's the other thing about windows 10 and anyways 
even if you would get longer, it doesn't matter because the browsers will not support any of these windows and you will be at risk. So, uh, you know, using uh, an, uh, a long-term support version of Windows 10 is actually putting you at risk uh, for a standard use. It's not meant to be that. It's meant to be in a closed down system, you know, like uh, uh, any uh, Internet of Thing device that will not do anything else than a specific, um, you know, thing on the Internet. So there's a lot of things that are different with that. So that's some of the answers for the questions that have been asked today about zero patch. And we'll wait and we'll see what Microsoft does on its own and how much they're going to charge. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.